you went to uh, Disneyland on your own. Yes, I did. Would you like to tell us I will tell the circumstances, you. Yeah, the of, circumstances the trip of the trip and what happened? Okay. You know, uh, lots of children get circumcised. Male. <laughs> And that's a weird way, isn't that a weird way to start a story? Lots of children get circumcised, and all of them enjoy pumpkins. It's true. Just saying, mm -hmm. just saying. All right, anyhow, so... Um, you, uh, you're talking about the, uh, the Jewish ritual of the bris. Yeah, but, but people, they do it in the hospitals, too. Yes, Plenty of yes, non-Jewish yeah. children. Yeah. Okay, so anyhow, but the bris, they, you, you do it, it's called a moil. He comes in, he does the wiener chopping, and... Um, I don't think the Torah refers to it as wiener chopping. <laughs> they did the thing, and then when it, when it was over, the moil hands me like a little This is your, your son, of course. Uh, has yeah, my son, my ba baby, my older son, James. Yeah. And they, you know, did the thing, and he hands me like a little metal envelope, and he says, uh, your son's foreskin is in here, you need to bury it for good luck. I never heard this part of the ritual before. I didn't know it until. <laughs> Why right. are you shouting at me? Because <laughs> you want all you to know what I do. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You're just so funny. All right. <laughs> you are, though. You killed me. Thank You've you. always Thank killed you. me. Thank you. All right. So, so they hand you the foil wrapping yeah. and it has the, your son's foreskin in it. In it. Yeah. And they, say, and, I, and they say, bury it someplace that means a lot to you. Well, I just moved to L.A. Hi, Andy. Hi. I just moved to L.A. <laughs> I, uh, and uh, I didn't have a special place, per se, at that point. Now I have many where I could bury a foreskin. Right. Many. <laughs> I, I, I love Los Angeles. Right. Um, I, I, okay. So anyhow, I'm walking down Sunset Boulevard hooking, and, um, <laughs> and there's a sign that says, come see the, the, the electric parade. That's it? Really, 90 seconds? What the hell? No, 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 oh, so, so okay. I, I decide, he doesn't okay, decide, okay. and let's, I'll, I'm please. gonna pick this up. Good job, Steve, yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay, Steve, <laughs> all right, so, I go on a... The minute he heard that you had your son's foreskin in a foil he packet... He just went fast. He just went up to 90 seconds. Point being is, point being is, let me jump. I decide to go to Disneyland because that's where I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm going to get You're rid... You're going to get rid of it at Disneyland? At Disneyland. Why Disneyland? Because it's the closest thing to a special place for me. I love Disneyland. <laughs> It's the happiest place on earth. The happiest place on earth. You know what? Yes. What better place for a foreskin? What better place? I'm yelling! <laughs> All right, so... So I figure, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a two-fold thing, something I've done. I'm gonna eat all the crappy food in all the lands, and then I've given up junk food in honor of my son and his foreskin, and I'll throw the foreskin off at Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> right, this was, my, this was my plan, an right. insane person's yeah. plan, mind you. Well, as you go through Disneyland by yourself and you go on rides and you eat, people look at you. Right. You, can't, you get in line, it's all these, you know, it's like, I am the old man. And um, <laughs> so I was sitting in like Fantasyland eating a giant turkey leg and a, fantasy, uh, and a family was staring at me. And no one knows who I am at this point. Right. So I said, I gotta get out of here now. And I went over in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle, uh, found a rock on the ground <laughs> and threw it and, you know, wrapped it around the rock and it's by Sleeping Beauty's castle. It's in... <laughs> <laughs> That's like Sleeping Beauty's castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's still there. Uh, I don't know their cleaning policies. Um, I do know my other son. Uh, it's at the Grove in the fountain. <laughs> I've never told anybody that. Including does him. Your, wait, does your family, have they heard this story? Uh, my older boy knows that the younger one doesn't know, uh, but they never watch anything I'm on, so there's no way. Though. Right, so they're, they're not going to hear about this. They're not going to hear what about What about your wife? Does she know about this? Oh, she knows about it, yeah. Okay. She was not pleased. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the good people at Disney? Do they know? Now they do. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to that call. That's hilarious. All right, season three of The Goldbergs premieres September 23rd at 8.30 on ABC. Boy, we're really in way in advance. September 23rd! <laughs> what am I doing here now? Except enjoying your company and yelling at you. Yes! <laughs> Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.